Cosa. Sense of Tatooine. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Boba Book Club live on Yes Have Some here on YouTube. We're back for another week. My name is Craig Goldberg. This is exciting. This music gets me friggin' jacked. I'm <laughs> 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 up. I want to take a, a Jawa and throw him through a burning table or something. Dude, I want to get a fight in a boxer. What? That's what happens to Boba Fett. Oh, right. We're going to talk about it. Whoa, spoilers. Sorry. There you go. Sorry. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Book of Boba Fett recap and review here on YHS. It's the Boba Book Hold Club. on. Is that okay? I well, I was that. describing it. By okay. the way, I screwed up. I was trying to get out of it, but Ryan had to make sure everyone knew. <laughs> Ryan went, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not what this is called. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Boba Book Club. We are so excited to be here live on a Friday night to talk about Chapter 3 of the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, the latest offerings from Disney Plus and Lucasfilm. Uh, it's been a couple days. We've all watched the episode multiple times. Before we get into it, I have to introduce all of my wonderful co-hosts. Joining us from the West Coast, Troy Benjamin. How are you doing? Hey, guys. Good to, good to be here. Damn how glad was, to be here. How was your week in a Star Wars? It was a good Star Wars week. It was, it's been a fun Star Wars week. Good. There's been a lot of interesting chat Star Wars week, but we'll get into that. <laughs> We're going to get to it. Yeah. Hey, Meme City. You know what? We need this. Star Wars fans need a little bit of, you know, controversy, okay? Mm -hmm. We need pod racing and things like pod racing, okay? We need yeah. Ryan Johnson. We need controversy. Yeah, this we need something we new like controversy, <laughs> like Star Wars. <laughs> Something Star Wars doesn't get much of. Just what nerds need yeah. is more controversy. Hey, more stuff to talk about. No yeah. spoilers, but we watched Scream last night, and it and and it talks about fandom. It's Ooh. a commentary on mm -hmm. fandom. Uh, Ryan Dole from Vancouver, BC. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm ready to talk dank about this. Uh, <laughs> about this yeah. episode. About this mother ferret episode. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Some dank talking. That's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, special guest tonight. Uh, first time joining us on the Boba Book Club. Our great friend from right here in the wonderful state of Georgia. Hal Clay. Hal, how are you? Doing good. Glad to be here. I think Hal is, uh, I, I will call Hal expert level knowledge of Star Wars. So that's why he's here. Yeah. He's here to drop bombs, correct us, and drink out of his black melon. Ooh. Hal, where did you get that thing? eBay. <laughs> I thought you fashioned that. The wow. sands of eBay. The That's where the Tuscans found them too. He dug uh, long and hard for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's hard to find large ones. You can uh, find smaller. Yeah. These are sea urchin shells, by the way. Okay. Uh, okay. Just Sorry. dropping secrets. You know I mean? <laughs> Already, I love it. I'm not going to be selling them, so might as well let everybody know. You're not going to recast that thing and sell it. No. <laughs> uh, and uh, Jacob Walsh, how are you, man? Hey, I'm doing good, but I've been doing a lot of thinking. My my week in Star Wars has been doing a lot of, I, I don't know, meditating, if okay. you will. I've been thinking a lot about, you know, maybe, maybe the most powerful Jedi Master there's ever been, you know, uh, and that's Luke Skywalker, right? I've been thinking hard about Luke Skywalker and how when he was faced with Kylo Ren as a child and he, he saw what Kylo Ren was going to become mm -hmm. and he pulled out his lightsaber, but only for a split second, you know, he yeah. wasn't going to actually, you know, act on that because Luke Skywalker is better than that. You know, he, he felt what was going to happen. Okay. And he felt what could happen with right. Kylo. And he knew that somewhere there, there could be a redemption and there was, and he was right. He, he took Darth Vader from the dark side. Oh, you know? Hmm. why couldn't he do that with the wonderful emotional beautiful beast of the rancor 
<laughs> Why could he not truly see it for what it was? Damn. Have a bone. Yes. <laughs> well, have we, we've learned have this about moment. the Jedi, right? Like, uh-huh. sand people are, you know, Tusken Raiders are savages, and yeah, uh, Rancors are there for killing. Yeah. 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 Just yeah, makes me it, think but twice maybe more. about, you know, Hey, here's hero. the answer, Jake. Because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, on that note, Abigail Gardner. What's up, Joining y'all? us from the hallowed halls of... Uh, the other side of the living room. Watto's garage over there. Oh, let's call it that. And yeah. is Darth Maul dead Watto's behind you? What's going on? I'm doing, everyone's doing better than Darth Maul deflated. <laughs> Darth Maul head behind me. I like, to look, I like it to look like I've defeated... Um, in battle, Darth Maul. Though. Darth Maul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Very well. As we know, that's not that hard. His head, He's yes. been defeated and killed so many times, True. over and over. Um, well, pops up at the end of Boba Fett because he's the main <laughs> villain, right? Uh, no, I think he's dead now. Is like, he? By this timeline, Obi Wan's yeah. dead at this point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what we Jake is so scared that I'm right about Kira showing up, but it's definitely happening. So, no. <laughs> It's not. Is that her name? Kira yeah. with a Q. Yeah. That's better than what be. I said the other day. I said, what? It was like, uh, I said, you know, Game of Thrones chick is coming. But <laughs> they would have to recap. It would have to be a different actress, right? Because Solo no, she's alive. Not. Yeah, but Solo yeah. takes place. Han Solo is years. played by a different actor in yeah. Solo. Yeah. And in oh, yeah. this timeline, he would be Harrison Ford. So there's no they, way it's they the have same. makeup. Yeah, they, they could age her. They can, they can make her look up. old. Yeah. Stop it. Okay, uh, so we're going to be talking about chapter three of the uh, book of Boba Fett. Um, does anybody have the episode title? Because I missed it. Yes, the yeah, streets Abigail? of Moss Espa. Oh, yes. the streets yes. of Moss Espa. Yes, uh, which is a Bruce Springsteen song, I believe. <laughs> uh, or you too could go either way. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I want to hear the Bruce version, like on the streets of Moss Espa. Um, <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's round table it, Troy. Where, where where do you think of uh, episode three? There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, yeah, to start unpack. us off. Yeah, I mean, I think there there are there are bright spots and there are dark spots, much like the sands of Tatooine. There are <laughs> bright spots and dark spots in this episode. Uh, it uh. is not it is not my least favorite Star Wars uh, television episode. Uh, that still remains. Uh, uh, oh, what's the name of the episode, Hal? You may have to correct me here, but it's Padme and Satine going to find uh, poison juice boxes that are uh, oh. poisoning all of the kids. Yeah, yes. uh, that yeah. that is still my least favorite episode of Star Wars television. Really? Today. Not even like when the droids are like going through the sand with that little like snail dude. <laughs> hey, I like, like you that like episode. Uh, you yeah. would. That's, that's yeah, I would. Too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really stinky, stinky, kind of stinkies there. Yeah, I don't know, but anyway. Uh, yeah, it, it not not my favorite episode, but I did like all of the Rancor stuff and and the stuff with the twins. So so there were there are some things in there. That I was like, oh, that was awesome. And then there were some things in there. I was like, huh, all right, well, <laughs> some that was anticlimactic. Cool. Mm-hmm. By the way, I gotta acknowledge the chat's on fire. Hi everybody. We're gonna be uh, answering some questions. Do a little Q and A later. So if you want us to cover any uh, topic specific to this episode, leave them in the. Uh, chat there and we will uh we will try to get to them uh we appreciate you guys joining us live uh ryan uh how about yourself what, what were your impressions of this episode um when i first watched it i was actually going to give it seven credits because i it was a little like you know like Troy said it's a little anticlimactic i still was like questioning what is going on exactly right right and then as i watched it again and thought more about the episode in the last couple of days i've really warmed up to it so i'm raising it up to an Eight credit episode. Oh, interesting. Okay, All right. so you were into it. I had um, the. Ups- I watched it a second time and I didn't like it m- more. The second, yeah. It was really well, fun. we're fighting, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I fight. kept it at seven. Yeah. We're not fighting. We're not fighting. This isn't a fight. This is a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> the Moss Espa Wars. We're like Calgary and Alberta. We're gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, you one. You're the you're the mayor's assistant. Yes, and you're right. the hot rod hot rodding teenager. Yes. Oh, dude. From Dimension X. <laughs> Neutrinos. Forest Neutrinos. Oh, man. Uh, Hal, uh, what, what did you think of this episode in comparison to the first two? My least favorite episode. I liked half of it. Yeah. You know, um, the flashbacks, solid as always, but just the chase. <laughs> the chase. <laughs> the slow speed chase through the streets. Of, that's I what mean, the song's about. Yeah. Yeah. 
that that well there's that. a speed limit guys yeah <laughs> who enforces it maybe we were born to crawl <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so not not as high on it okay it's a chase scene that feels like you're on the track of like a, a theme park like it yeah. yeah like slowly it's rolling in and observing everything yeah okay all right are we doing cool that for, during celebration weekend yes that's what we're gonna do are we all going to autotopia or whatever it's called we're just gonna like oh we're racing well what i'm get worried about cars. before before i get to jake and app what i'm worried about is people seeing this this you know biker gang of hot rod and teenagers in dimension x mm -hmm. and taking the mandalorian route and being like oh i'm doing doing my own custom half droid oh. teenage cosplay Ryan told me it's, it's to do one character no not the actual the characters but just like doing their own dream warriors kind of thing. yeah it's whatever gonna be the new 501st everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I started calling them the Dream Warriors. Okay. You look uh, like Captain Power <laughs> characters. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mind it. Listen, I, 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 I whatever. We'll get to my opinion. Jake, what did you think of this episode? <laughs> those those characters looked like uh, they were kind of a last minute addition, and the, the costume was done. It was like, hey, guys, just show up in your own costume. <laughs> <laughs> just, they're like, just do it yourself. It's yeah. like Gen Z Star Wars, basically. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, Zoomers? They, they blew the budget on the Rancor. Maybe. I think I agree uh, with uh, Troy. It's kind of a, there's a, it's a weird episode as there's things I really liked. I loved seeing, uh, uh, you know, the fight with Chris Santon. I thought that fight was really cool. But then I was really annoyed at just like, you're free to go. And I'm like, oh, Okay, I guess that's done. I love and how, how he runs, he runs off. The screen off. Too. <laughs> yeah. just like, All right, yeah. he runs. <laughs> and, and yeah. that, that was very weird to me because I thought that was going to be. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's more Chris Hansen to come. But nope. now it seems like if there is, <laughs> they're not going to leave that good, one day. I don't want that. No, he'll just die at the beginning of the next episode. Now uh, we're all attached to him. He's just hey, dead. What would be funnier? A like when he when Chris Hansen runs. If a we never saw him again. <laughs> Or B, if we got a Forrest Gump style running on empty uh, uh, yeah. montage of, of Chris Santon just running all around tattooing. No, no, no. Set to your Bruce Springsteen song. Yes. 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 Or, yes. Street of Moses. or there's a scene in the next episode, or maybe three episodes down the road where they're on a speeder and they're flying through his dead bodies just in the desert. They just go by it. He's just died. No, it's exhaustion. the last episode after credits. Jaw was taking him. his, Jaw was yeah, taking his armor off. Him. Taking his final steps. Yeah. I was kind of hoping that maybe the, after the, the final credits of the last episode, it's him inside the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> yeah. He trips and falls into the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny abigail yeah that chris anton fight was awesome i really like seeing the gamorian guards making like pig squeal noises when yeah. they're fighting and yeah, actually fighting yeah, yeah and yeah. actually yeah. like puffing and hemming and hawing and yes. fighting that was that was all great um and and like jake with the rancor and with danny trejo showing up to be the rancor's yeah. rancor holder loved all that seems like he's been doing that his whole life like i totally believe it and buy into it and um that really upped the episode in my opinion the slow race montage, the medium speed race. I honestly like, yes, I knew while watching it. I was like, this is, this maybe isn't great, but I do like it. It has that feeling of like, I'm taking a slow tour through the theme park and I'm looking at everything yeah. and I can see, oh, I know that one. I know that it's, guy. It's the exact it's, opposite of it's Attack the of the Universal Clones. Studios. It's the exact Tram opposite ride. of Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. Craig, you could do the, uh. Do the MC like welcoming welcoming everyone yeah. to the? Uh, it's yeah, the it's like, best. No, no, no. It's the best hits. Universal Studios tram ride. At one point, you're like, oh, and there's the pilot or the the mechanic from the the Mandalorian yeah, over yeah. here. Are the are the jizz band players? Yeah. and it's like and if you take here's here, a painting like, of Jabba the Hut. It's that that we're still cool. using the same rickshaw droid yeah. from thirty <laughs> some years ago. <laughs> they did destroy that Ralph Lauren painting. By the way, that was a real. Uh, oh, Ralph that was Bobari an original, concert. dude. That was yeah, an original. That was the original. Ah, dude, that, that was the original planned. piece. <laughs> that wasn't planned. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Moss Espa Streets of Moss Espa <laughs> Adventure Tour. <laughs> Please note, Adventure. children under two are not recommended to be on this ride because of the oh. medium pace. Dude, I Please hope they do that as an actual ride. 
now, like yeah. where you're going through like Tatooine, but then all of a sudden you get to the part <laughs> where the crate dragon comes out of the yeah. sand water. Yeah. I just thought it said water. So it's like the Jaws ride, water. but a crate dragon. Yeah. It's the E.T. adventure. Yeah. Yes. That's what we want. Yeah. That's, that's what was, we why I liked it. And it's the same I physics. <laughs> I'm pretty sure E.T. adventure is faster. <laughs> slowly it's like, up on, over the cops. Hold on. Oh, no. We're coming across the daimyo. It is the mean, evil, mastermind bounty hunter, Boba Fett. Let's hear what he has to say. Welcome to Mos Espa. Just be good. Be nice. I'm nice Psycho now. Stop. You're nice. We're all nice now. <laughs> Didn't you murder somebody for that throne? No. Be nice. <laughs> be nice. Yeah. Roadhouse. Hey, we're already at a roadhouse. We're already I'm at a roadhouse. Dalton. There you go. I'm Dalton. Um, so yeah, obviously we're we're gonna have some fun because there's um we take Star Wars very seriously, but there's there's some fun to be had with this episode. Why don't we start with the stuff we really liked? So let's free for all. Anybody want to chime in? It's what this, did we, we all like? like the same thing? Okay. I think we all in our opening we all like the Rancor. Yeah. The ran- right? yeah, you well, give let's it talk up Let's talk about it. Let's break it down. Sure. Well, before we do that, let's give uh, the high-level plot. We are catching up with um, Boba Fett and Fennec. Uh, this episode did not have as many flashbacks. This is more of the, the main timeline. And uh, we're, we're kind of dealing with the same stuff. It's the power struggle. Uh, we're back at Jabba's palace. And uh, the guy from Office Space shows up. Uh, looking for a stapler. He's looking for his water. But you do get a flashback, which I think should be mentioned because he loses everyone. Well, we're going to get just got attached. Yeah, to. we're going to yeah. talk about that. Yeah. But like, <laughs> the main plot is I don't know the actor's name, but he's the guy from Dodgeball. Stephen and Root. He's, yeah, Stephen Root. And he's like, "Hey, you're the you know nobody respects you, but I I think that's fucked up that nobody respects you." But and he's what he's saying is, "Hey, I don't respect you." And there's this. Uh, this group of uh, you know delinquents, <laughs> delinquents, these kids, teenagers. What were you guys thinking that this gang was going to be before? Not that we saw them. <laughs> Something very I different. Th- I thought it was going to be like actual children, maybe just like a you know a group of maybe younger children in rags who were maybe homeless or something, and not what we saw at all. Yeah, not at all. My writer's mind immediately was like, I'm sure that Bob is going to befriend this group because, you know, if they're being talked about negatively by this dude who sucks, they're probably going to end up being like backup and muscle for him. And that's exactly what happened, but I didn't know that that was the aesthetic they were going for. I think it's pretty clear right away that maybe Steven Root is possibly a piece of shit and it's, he's probably <laughs> taking advantage of the water situation. He's yeah, right. A little bit of yeah. a Mad Max thing going on, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess we should note that he, since he supplies or he works with the moisture farmers, which is, you know, the, the legacy of the moisture farmers and the, the, the Skywalkers yeah. and, or, or Luke's family. They clearly on. need a union. <laughs> clearly. Um, <laughs> But I guess I really wasn't expecting this. They were like, we, you know, Troy, Abbott, we all made the joke that they kind of felt like the neutrinos. Yeah. You know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But that was literally their whole thing. They were like, we're only stealing water because the man's trying to keep us down. <laughs> like, yeah, anarcho punk. They're, yeah. you know, they're just taking care of themselves and probably each other. They're like a chosen family unit. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think some of that was probably to echo back to the Bacta chamber when, um, when, when Boba was like, lo- he has a huge loss in his in his heart in his life from his past so like i think this is that's supposed to be the feel of like he's like all right i have an open place for to build my family and to to make them part of it right he's kind of building his team and he tells these kids hey you know what you're not going to get punished you're going to work for me Mm -hmm. and they're like all right cool we love that's what i wanted this whole time was a job (laughs) i'm proud of my eye (laughs) uh I like guys jackhammer leg too. That was great. Yeah. But we'll get to that. So it's like a group of teenage or young 20s kids on (laughs) multicolored speeder bikes. And it feels like Power Rangers in space. It just kind of does. Yeah. It's the bikes were from Quadrafina, the old 1979 movie starring Sting. Oh. A British scooter gang that had bikes that looked like that with all the mares (laughs) on them. It, well, I'm sure. Device, mm. I mean, knowing is. Robert Rodriguez, that's a hundred. Yeah. might be the yeah. actual yeah. inspiration. Mm-hmm. Uh, he directed this episode, by the way, uh, with a script by John Favreau. So I didn't, I didn't mind the bikes or the look of the bikes, or, or I didn't mind that at all. the The only thing that felt weird is their outfits do seem really just cheap. cheap. Like it really seemed like the most un Star Wars thing in a Star Wars show, but. 
what I mean that's wait till the Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, well, well, I think that show does that not show up at the end of this? Are oh, yeah, the Starliner. Like, they yeah. show up on that thing, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in this. It's canon now. Yeah. Oh, comes like a family in like flip flops and shorts. <laughs> and <they're just> like... <laughs> that was pretty fun. Boba Fett's like. Why are you stealing this man's water? They're like, because we don't think it's fair that it's four thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars to spend two nights on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> they charge that much? <laughs> well, does it at least have original trilogy characters? No, <laughs> you don't have a back to tank on there. Fuck it. Um, it's called a bathtub. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so that's the main plot. Then the second part of the plot is, um, I, I don't know. I, let's figure out. Let's unpack what's happening with you know, Jake. You brought this up to me earlier in the week three yeah. episodes in we kind of still don't really know who our main antagonists are it was kind of teased that it was going to be the huts but they seem to kind of be backing out like fuck this we don't you know we're we're they're all talk basically yeah they do this gift exchange walk me through it yeah well i mean at this point it seems like maybe it's it's the uh what's the syndicate's name the fish-faced people the, the, the pike, pike. The pike, pike, syndicate. pike syndicate so i mean they they make a uh a reference to somebody is is telling the pike syndicate what to do like there's their boss and that's yeah. who our villain of the the show is going to be but it's weird that we're almost ha we're like halfway through right or fourth right. episode is halfway through and we and we're still kind of like oh oh the tuscans are dead and now <laughs> the huts are gone and chrysanthemum was Jake running Rampel. through the desert and it's like <laughs> the three episodes almost seem like the first three episodes it makes them seem like just filler or something it's weird i, I thought of you jake when that happened after like the the torching of their camp because um, we had all talked so much about the the female. She's uh, still alive. She's yeah, that's yeah, what did we see her? In my mind, I was like, yeah. we didn't see her you dead, so see she's her coming back, and we're gonna yeah. go yep. reveal all that's that. That's the rule. But it definitely yeah. did feel like a whoa. I guess like she's gonna join dying. the biker gang. Yeah, she, she is she's is gonna the biker have, gang. She's gonna have droid parts <laughs> on her. I hope yeah. she's a bunch of Jawas in a Tuscan suit. <laughs> <laughs> style. I wanted to say I like the bikes also. I like the color scheme. I like the 80s, 50s feel of it, but it definitely didn't feel like traditional Star Wars, like lived in universe. Doesn't basically. matter. We're not it, getting toys, no matter what. Yeah. It's the Marys, the, the reflectors on the bikes. That Those are the first Marys you see in Star Wars. Oh, well, that doesn't oh, really? mean that they, that's such a weird fact. The first mirror <laughs> in a Star in Wars. The rest ever. of the movies. <laughs> that Wait doesn't mean that mirrors are you are you proposing no, i'm just saying that, that mirrors mirror don't exist mirror. no, i'm just saying Nobody... they don't have wing mirrors on swoop bikes like that okay, have you I seen see what they're saying. wearing jake <laughs> <laughs> they clearly do not have mirrors uh, <laughs> come on, come on now. So maybe these are the smartest kids in the universe <laughs> oh man um Troy, I want, I want a scene of Watto, and he's like, "What are these?" Oh, <laughs> yes. You mean that my face is like this the whole time? <laughs> oh. uh. Gonna go out now. And he's uh. right. This head is stupid. Uh. <laughs> uh, not an angel. Oh my god, I love that. Um, so the huts show up, and they're basically like, "Hey, Boba Fett." Um, oh no town. we skipped so much mm -hmm. let's go back yeah. we have to talk about the last episode when the huts told boba fett to sleep lightly he's in yeah. his back to tank and gets straight up wookie assaulted yeah. okay this yeah. is him well this is also him waking up from his dream where we got the flashback that the tuscans have been wiped out exactly mm -hmm. where we also I... we saw Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. The t we got to talk. About the Tuscans are wiped out. Right. These Tuscans that have in their group this weird badass female Tuscan who destroys everybody. Yeah. These Tuscans yes. are wiped out by that stupid gang from Tashi Station. Yeah, that's what I didn't get either. <laughs> I don't think it was the gang. You think Let's it was somebody oh, else, really? and they just I think it was somebody it? else. Mm -hmm. Okay, who do you think? They framed him. Whoever, maybe whoever yeah, but, the leader of the fish face. Yeah. The Pike yeah. Syndicate did it. Because yeah. Boba did go to the mayor's office again, and even in the flashback this time, and where he's just like, yo, leave Sam people alone or all. Right. Like, they're trying to make a deal, right? Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, he loses awesome. all the, the Tuscans. He wakes up. 
we see a very hairless, clean, wet, wet underwear. Slippery boba. Slippery it's boba. It's like a hot dog Slippery in the water. Boba. Where is Target that? exclusive. Come and see. <laughs> oh, dude, I hope so. Here, future Slippery phone call. Boba. Future phone he call to Ryan, hold of him. to Ryan and Jake. Hey, well, Target canceled my slippery boat for pre order. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate Target. He looks so slippery. <laughs> you know what I want, Craig? Now that you said canceled. that, I want blind bactas that you open up. And you get a different slippery boba. It's like uh, blind. Uh, but then you open Watch it up, that. and he's a different boba fan. Blind, blind either fighting or screaming or blind falling. Or, that that's today's word of the episode: is the blind back. Blind back. A blind back. Um. So I love it. He's being attacked. What do we think of this fight? We all wanted to see Black or Santin. It's brutal. Okay, you say brutal. <laughs> it's hardcore brutal. Yeah, you all see right. him thrown against the ground, and yeah, and it, it's tough. It's um. It's all. It's definitely like it startles you watching him p- being pulled out and being thrown on the ground so many times. How do we think Boba Fett fans who have been waiting to see badass Boba Fett their whole life are feeling about wet Boba Fett getting dismantled by a Wookiee? Pissed off. Well, we'll get to that later <laughs> with sad comments, won't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we do have sad comments. Tonight. I don't want my slippery Boba to get beat up. <laughs> um, uh, how? What, what did you think of this scene? I think this was a major loss for the show. They had people with cybernetic arms. They could have clearly had the Wookiee ripping arms out and not showing blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no. I mean, okay. they could they did mention them later. And, mm-hmm. But I did like the Chewbacca gr- scream when he got um, zapped or stabbed one time. Right. Yeah. yeah and I also liked cool. uh, his... Uh, um, his the knuckles. Zapper, her zapper. Yeah. Mm. Zapper knuckles. Yeah. Yeah, taser knuckles. <laughs> Those were cool. I also liked uh, when he just took a big bite out of the pig. Oh, yeah. I love that. Like just Homer Simpson did. I thought he was going to rip his throat. I was like, whoa. (laughs) I was kind of hoping we were going to get that. But even still, like, I love how he's like, oh, get in my slippery blind back done. He was just (laughs) being all nice. He's almost too nice now. And he smiles all the time. I don't know. I think they should have kept the helmet He smiled before. We just never saw him without his helmet. (laughs) I think that's true. I think even when he's like, (laughs) it's like Empire Strikes movies. He's in the movies for five minutes. We don't. He's probably smiling the whole time, too. And he's like. Bounty hunters. We don't need their scum. Yeah. He's just yeah. Yeah. He's just happy. He's here's he's he's rolling Han Solo into slave times. one. He's like when, <laughs> when it, hey, you know whenever Darth Vader said no disintegration, yeah. you know he's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um Troy, what'd you think of this scene? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I dug it un, until the neutrinos showed up. Um, <laughs> uh, until the we'll biker gang from Batman and Robin showed up. I was like, oh, this is great. And then, yeah. Oh, we need an like... edit. We need an edit of when they, we need just the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fight music to hit yeah. when they, when they hit the, <laughs> when they hit the scene. Moss Espa, 3 a.m. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I thought it was fine. Like, I, it does seem because, so this whole attack happens, and they trap. Wait, what happens? How does this? How does this play? They get out? him into the. Fall. Well, they're, yeah. they're they, the fight. Trap a they drop him into the the rancor pit. They drop him into the. Yeah, so far, that's all Fenix pit. got to do too is just drop push the button. Yeah, well, she got to use that. She got to use her fancy gun knives twice Dagger. in this episode. Yeah, yeah. and both that's times true. it was like, look what I got. Fenix should work. Through. Fennec I should love work it. for the Hasbro Star Wars team because she's always like teasing that rancor, but it's never there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, okay, aw. and that's when the huts. Okay, the huts show up, and they're like, "Just kidding, we don't want war. It's fine. We're going back to wherever." They're they like, live. "Something worse is coming." Basically, we, we want to get out of here now. Right. We recommend yeah. you do the same thing. So they're and basically- apologizing. Like the whole apologizing for Kersantan thing was kind of like, is this a <laughs> trick? No, yeah. no, this is serious. I want to talk about them happened. eating before the hut showed up. It it just happened oh, yeah. as in as in two minutes ago, <laughs> Chris Santin tried to kill you and they're like, hey, you know what? You can keep him. We changed <laughs> that's, our minds. That's our bad. We own that. 
that is our bad. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought when they um when they were announced, I was like, well, this is for sure not a gift, like because that's what it was said was like, yeah, they have a gift for you, and it, there's uh, yeah, it doesn't it, it. I'm sure they're leaving that plot hole like that open um so that we can see what else happens, but it's definitely like a like a head scratcher. So let's set the stage here. Fennec and Boba are having a feast and he's annoyed by it. She's like, God, look at all this food. This Give is me awesome. some tentacle hummus and uh, oh, yeah. drinking spotchka and stuff. And, and Boba's like enough food. I'm here to be nice to people. Be fair. I don't want all this food. <laughs> yeah. And, now we know uh, what happened to Bib Fortuna. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. He's like, ah, <laughs> <Wana wonga. laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. My, my Bib Fortuna impression is mostly Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> Baba Booey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Dejabu no> bada. <laughs> no bada. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> I, I just want I just want to eat all this food and rule all these lands. But no! <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, by the way, they oh. did refer to the the bar the sail barge disaster. I like okay, that. Okay, which was kind of yeah, like cool. That too. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Still not hundred oh. percent sure how some of those characters survived the sail barge disaster, like Max Rebo. <laughs> Did he do a duck and roll? Do they teach that in yeah. alien yeah. elephant school? <laughs> he got on a life. keyboard shield. <laughs> See you later, um. Sky. <laughs> Troopy McDead is more like it. Yeah, yes. nice playing with you. <laughs> okay. the, uh, the, uh, the, other, the other members of the band were like the band on Titanic and they're just playing this song <laughs> going down. Yeah, he's like, oh, so I'm too good for this. I'm going to go start my own jizz band. Um, okay. They're having this feast. Boba's getting annoyed. Cool scene. I liked it. Huts show up. They give them, they say, well, we're going to give you this rancor. This is their gift. They're like, what do you give the man who has everything? Well, I'll tell you what he doesn't have a rancor because Luke Skywalker, as Jake pointed out earlier, yeah, murdered it. <laughs> Abby, we found out a lot about rancors. And their, you know, how they interact with humans. Yeah. Walk me through this. Well, I saw that Kat had mentioned in the chat that uh, in Clone Wars, you realize that Rancors can be cuddly. But uh, in the Bad Batch, there was an episode where the Rancors is like kind of fun and young and yeah. exciting and bouncing around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. More like um, adorable and less terrifying and about to kill you. Um, and I loved uh, this. I love this Rancor in particular. And I really liked how Boba bonded with the um, finding the sweet spot. Because that's exactly. I was literally doing that with my cat while watching that scene. Like getting that one little spot on her ear. Which she's living right here right now. Um, it, it's like a. It's a really good bonding moment. And um, I'm excited to see the future of their relationship. And I know there wasn't. Wasn't there like a reference to the holiday special. With like him riding a yeah. Rancor. Yeah. Because he did say Rancor. Yeah. He says animals like. Three times the size of this, right? Yeah, Yeah. because Boba Fett's like, "Oh, dude, Mm -hmm. teach me how to ride this thing, please, (laughs) please." I love Machete, by the way. I love it. Teach me how to ride. Mm -hmm. Uh, So yeah, Danny Trejo is uh, now Star Wars canon. He is the new Rancor keeper. I love it. No complaints here. Why not? Like, why not? I I now so is riding um... Rancors is now canon too. Oh, there you go. There you go. (laughs) Well, they all they also. Mention the witches of uh, yeah, yeah, and those yeah. are yeah, and uh, I, I love that whole scene, and I, and I like how at one point Boba says, "What are we going to call you?" I hope he names it Jabba. <laughs> hope he names it Luke. <laughs> <laughs> that seems insulting. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh, like, he's going to oh, name it Django. Django. <laughs> and he's be like, "Will you be my daddy?" <laughs> I'll see you daddy. <laughs> Will you be my daddy? Sorry. This is an off the rails episode, but I'm enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. Um, listen, we gotta fill in some of the you know, some of the stuff here. Unlike um, that chase, which was on rails. What? No. Yeah. Uh, Chris, oh. Esposito, Chris Esposito <laughs> says 
Boba Fett is not supposed to interact with Rancors the way Abigail interacts with her cat. What the hell is happening to Star oh. Wars? Oh, he's uh, mad. Oh, oh, oh come it? on. Salty. Where? Who told you that that's not how he's supposed to? <laughs> like, did you write Boba Fett? No. Yeah. He's going to, however he acts in these shows is how Boba Fett is supposed to act. Absolutely. Get that attitude out of here. Yeah. (laughs) This is your canon now. Mm -hmm. This is your canon. Oh, I want that on a (laughs) t-shirt. There's room for all opinions. Listen, not every... I am not... Okay. Troy, we've had these discussions a lot, and I want to go to you on this. Uh Oh. We... (laughs) Troy's like, why do I do this? Why am I here? Uh, We've talked a lot about how, like, this um this thing you go through as a fan where you you sometimes feel not you but like in general in fandom i sometimes feel, if i don't like something when i'm like it's 2022 i'm watching ghostbusters afterlife and i'm watching the book of boba fett and you know spider-man all the stuff and if i don't like something there's part of me that's like should i feel guilty should i just be grateful that we have all this great stuff or is there room to be like hey I've been watching Star Wars my whole life. I don't like that specific thing that's happening. Or do we just have to say, what's the mentally healthiest like attitude? I'm asking for advice live on the air. To not watch Star Wars at all. Well, I I think it's, I don't think it's a necessarily new thing either. Like, you know, when people went to go see Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, people walked out of that going, what the, is Spielberg okay? Do we need to get him some help? Like, I feel he's gone to a dark place. I so, love that movie. That's it, my it's favorite an awesome one. movie. So hell, yeah. Yeah. Ghost Popper um, says the Rancor's name is unbacked. <laughs> <laughs> Failed to fund. Wow. Um, <laughs> FTF. <laughs> what if Patrick had come to drop him off instead of Danny Trejo? Oh my God. <laughs> he would have been None late. Of the fans won't be here. He uh, it would have been an empty trolley. <laughs> Boba Fett's like, Boba, we've got something exciting for you coming. Boba's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a me... cardboard cutout of a Rancor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pre-order. He has to wait six months for it. And then the huts are going to cancel his order right before shipment. <laughs> uh, he's like, uh, he's like, uh, well, let me ask you this about uh, about that Rancor there. Is, uh, is there going to be a Rancor keeper that comes with it? <laughs> And Patrick's like, well, we love getting feedback from the fans. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we got a gift for you. It's a repaint of a clone trooper. <laughs> it's, it's an early bird kit. Look. <laughs> yeah. It's so- Keep that down <laughs> in your pit. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, yeah. Is Black Chrysanthemum, by the way, is that a gaming greats? I'm just putting it out there. It seems like that's what that is. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, while we're having fun here, guys, and I want to get back to all this. Um, you can go to yhspodcast.bigcartel.com and get your official Book of Boba Fett, Boba Book Club buttons. These things are selling like hotcakes. We've been selling a bunch. Uh, people like have been posting bread. Hot like bread. hot bread. They Jesus. listen. Instagram. They're posting. They're sharing. Uh, I'm going to put the link over there in the chat. They're only six bucks, and that includes shipping. So. <laughs> Um, and then, obviously, all of our co-hosts are <laughs> just holding up the thing. <laughs> hold up your round thing! <laughs> Do you have I a round know thing where to my hold up? To. I may have lost it. Tape. <laughs> Boba, <laughs> book club. did I give you one of these, Hal? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Thanks I, I for don't wearing know where it. it. Went Thanks for wearing it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put the Thanks link up. I podcast that Big Cartel. Listen. Get yourself one of these. Get a personal pan pizza. Get a red cup full of Coca-Cola. You're going to be so set. Um, anyways, back to this. Troy, are we allowed to not like things in Star Wars? Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, when, I, when I say that it is among my least favorite episodes of Star Wars television, I'm not saying like I hate the show. I'm not saying I hate the cat. Like, you don't have to go nuclear option when you don't see something you like. Um, you don't like, I guess I should say. But right, right. Uh, yeah it's it's totally fine and you know that there's like we said we're halfway through i thought we would be like my expectations got the better of me in this instance like i thought we were going to go to places and do other things and like this has become a little bit more of a slow burn and that's okay like it's just not what i expected it to be and that was my me placing imprinting my expectations on something that it was not so um yeah it's it's tough but 
but it's fine. And and look for the bright spots. Again, look at we were talking about the Rancor uh, and and the Rancor Keeper and um you know and and the feast that was a great scene. So there are still pluses in here. It's not all yeah. minuses. Right. Mm -hmm. And in the dream sequence, he does go to Moss Eisley. And I love any Moss Eisley scene. And in the background of Boba Fett's dream, we saw Pelimoto mm -hmm. running around with a bunch of pit droids. And I, I dream and I, of her too, so it makes sense. <laughs> and I liked that. Yes, Amy Sedaris, I liked that. Them, yeah. She had a cameo. That so. was a fun moment for sure. Worth um, it. But um, okay, so we have this whole scene that transpires where Danny Trejo is telling Boba Fett, uh, you know, the reason why the blinders are on the Rancor is because the first human that they see, they imprint on, and they have this. It's kind of like a touching thing, and I'm, I, I liked it. I really did. I thought it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, it makes me excited because we're definitely going to get a scene somewhere in this show where Boba Fett's riding a Rancor, like fighting people. Yeah. That sounds 100%, fun. That's happening. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. like they joined together as a team instead of him using the Rancor as a weapon, which was like what the plan was with uh, with uh, uh, Jabba. Yeah. So yeah, it's. I think it's like a different way. He's got a new regime. This daimyo. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he opens that gate, that big front door of the palace, and he just comes running out with that rank on that rank for yeah, hot That's skippity yeah. shit, man. There better be a whole new Haslab on the way. I'm ordering six. <laughs> They're gonna do it in the middle of the episode. It's gonna pause and say now available at Hasbro Pulse. Yeah. He's just gonna turn to the camera and say, if you like what you're seeing. <laughs> I would love that. Um, can, can we talk about the Beaumont, the stop motion Bomar Monk walking by in the beginning? Yeah. That was awesome. Let's do it. The very do beginning, it. yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. How do we feel about the Rancor? Was that practical? Was it CG? Was it a mix? I the, the, the close-up of the head looked practical to me. I, I'm not I'm not sure. I, I tried to look it up and, and see if I could find some information, and I did not. But it looks like a practical rancor. It looks like a puppet. Yeah, the whole thing well, does. Even I'm fooled. I'm sitting here trying to find the spots, too, just like Jake. And just like, because usually I can kind of tell where things are, st like, where they stop and where they start. And this, I'm like, I think this might be real. I think this yeah. might be a model. I and think they might, I credited might. in the is in the credits as the stop motion, so you can't tell what he worked on. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um okay, so it. what happens after this? Well, is after this, this is the, like, the race, right? Oh, that's yeah, they the, go the, to the mayor's the Mario house Kart again. <laughs> yeah, then Mario Kart happens. Yeah. Eight D eight interrupts Boba bonding and it's like <laughs> Oh, that's Boba's funny. like, No, not now, I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Responding. Yeah, AT8's like, oh. Not while I'm bonded. I love how he's peeking oh. around the corner, too. Yeah, the corner of the room. <laughs> hey, Stowe. What's going on? <laughs> um, yeah, that's it's like so... any of us trying to talk to like a VFX soup to give notes. Right. That's how it's like at my, that's how it's like at my job. Uh, yeah. Hey, so. <laughs> you think you that's locked, shot? but it's not locked. Um... Oh, yeah. You're like, I know that you're the artist and I'm just the project manager and you don't want to hear what I'm about to say. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, They go to the mayor's office, correct? Yeah. We see. Uh, and he the locks mayor's the not door, there. Which mayor's is not funny. there. Yeah. 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 He's like, yeah, I'll be right back. Door locks. Hey, <laughs> give me a funny. single camera office style sitcom of that mayor's office. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'd please. Watch it. Yep. Would watch. Make, That's, I'm make, in. make the uh, the major domo guy. Make him uh, like the Michael Scott. Just do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've I'm the best major domo <laughs> ever. Yeah, they do like the confessionals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to me, See my the issue. <laughs> Best major Domo. <laughs> Where's the lie? Tell me. Oh, man. He's like, I've got no problem with Boba Fett. I just want him dead. Not dead. Well, okay, dead. <laughs> Can we cut this? <laughs> um, Yeah, and then we have a slow speed chase through the halls. You, you wait for them to put their helmets on because they need to be safe. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. Did they, they did not wear helmets. No, no they, they didn't. Did. No, okay, I was like... Yeah. I thought I totally missed something, but I swear I saw Joe fast had, enough to like her helmets. hair going. And then right when every person watching it had the exact same thought of where the fuck is Boba Fett, he comes flying in. Yeah. Lowered he was in. way faster than the rest of them. He could have just like 
<laughs> yep. And then he crashes. It's like a Back to the Future scene. Mm-hmm. Like he it crashes is. into the back of a, a horse manure. Even the gang is still like the Back to the Future yeah. gang in a lot of respects. <laughs> it yeah. is. It, that's what the whole. It feels like Back to the Future too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Slowly advancing on. <laughs> I pillar. like that. I like that moment of realization you just had. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So the last episode was Back to the Future 2. This episode is Back to the Future. Or no, yeah, Back to the three, Future 3 two. was previous. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Major Domo, hoverboards don't float on water. <laughs> <laughs> and this dude's got Kyber crystals. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. oh, fucking Lord. Um, you can really feel ferric. the medium speed of the whole thing. When the the female like drops down from yeah. the the top and like doesn't really do any damage to the mayor's right, just kind of bumps him. right, yeah, just kind of his little bump. I'm, I'm, but then the parsimons get him. So here's my prediction: knowing how Hasbro Star Wars is and knowing how Lucasfilm tends to sometimes back the wrong horse. Monday, Black Series announcement: we're getting a five pack yep. of that, of that speeder gang. God, I hope so. <laughs> We don't get any three. We don't get any juniors of the Bad Batch, but we're gonna get that entire gang and all their bikes. <laughs> hey, I, I like what about the bikes. protocol droid that's just looking like all confused? Oh. And, uh, uh, yeah, he's gonna come with that pit droid. <laughs> It'll be perfect. Yeah. Um, and then we find out that the mayor's what off world? Mayor's gone. Yeah, he's working with yeah. the pikes. They yeah. don't yeah. really he's say with the pikes. right. Oh, and that's when. Okay, that's how it ends. That's when Boba. we like look over and they're all like. And- Bus loads of pikes are coming out for the spring break. They're spawning a river. Panama <laughs> <Fan of all laughs> City. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Moss Isley 2022. <laughs> <laughs> These wild co ed pike syndicates. <laughs> Where's the steel drums? <laughs> Where? I want the 3 a.m. ad. Oh, no. Pike's gone wild. Oh, no. oh, my God. oh boy. I um, love- no one can make the next. <laughs> Whatever's in everybody's head, don't say it. Yeah, we'll that's not- we'll good. Um, we're we're getting, we're learning here. I like the spring break on uh, Moss Espa though. Moss <laughs> Espa spring break. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Streets of Moss Espa. The music place. to the speeder chase sounded like spring break on Moss Espa. That you like- know what. Techno Troy, I'm glad groove. you. Oh, I know what you're talking about, and that was a kind of departure to have that kind of music playing. It was. Weird. I, I, I mean, I, I love the music and what like Ludwig always does, and that was just kind of. It was weird. The it, main, I, the I main really Book of Boba theme, I really like a lot with like yeah. the chanting and stuff. Fuck really yeah, that gets me going. <laughs> um, I can't it. sing it as much as I wish I could hit all those octaves at the same moment. I can't. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything. Uh, is there any other deep cut references and things that we we need to kind of cover before we start? Hal, uh, this is where so, you this is where you shine. <laughs> well, I mean, I covered Quadrophena. The the weasel lady in the bikini showed back up in this episode. Yeah, oh, we're Starliner. Yeah, she was going up to the Starliner when the pipes were coming off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Man, spring She's break. Out. Yeah, oh, I thought she was like top, right? getting work. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> she's going on vacation. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> oh, my God, I it's love spring it. break. I love it. I love it. Damn um, it. They don't know the, my reputation. Short... I'm going to go say hi to these boys. It's a short uh, episode. Yeah, That's it's it. Like it was. It's weird because it, it, it definitely kind of feels like there's some great stuff in it, but then there's some <sighs> weird stuff in it, and it feels like there's some... It feels like they they weren't quite sure what to do with the third episode, and maybe it's short for a reason. Maybe it was like we don't really want to start this here because it needs to go into. It just it felt like they weren't exactly sure what to do, so they were like, throw this together. That'll be do that for as a short episode, and then I'm, I'm the- assuming that on the fourth episode, shit is really gonna like. Because I agree, but coming off of Mando, the third episode of the first season of Mando is the sin. Whereas he goes and rescues Grogu from the Imperials, and all the Mandos show up in this the big battle at the end where he escapes. And then yeah. third episode, Book of Boba Fett is this, and it's just like meh, yeah. right? You know, yeah. If they had twenty two episodes, like this felt like one of those sixth or seventh episodes in a twenty two episode run yeah. where it's sort season of like, three of Lost. Uh, this is the beach do. trip of the this anime. Was episode. Season three of Lost, yeah. where they're yeah. eating fish biscuits in a. <laughs> Fucking cage I like that. for a whole season. Um, yeah. So I think, I think we've covered the main points. I think, yeah, we're all kind of on the same. 
page, right? There's some really great stuff. There's some yeah. head scratching stuff. And mm-hmm. my whole thing is I, I don't mind the biker gang. Like that's fine. Introduce new characters, whatever. Give me a young adult novel series. Well, Give we don't com- really see teenagers in star Wars unless they're Jedi. That's true. true. Yeah. yeah. It's probably hard to be a regular teenager in star Wars. Can you imagine trying to grow up in the streets of Mos Espa? Especially during spring break. Especially from the home planet. And you're not making any money because you don't have a job. Listen, it's you literally are from the same planet as Luke Skywalker, okay? I went to the same high school as Collective Soul. You think I could ever live up to that? Yeah. Heaven Lager. <laughs> <laughs> My joke was interrupted. Did you make that up? <laughs> Is that true? You really did? Uh, I did. And, well, not same town. And also, they've got a great song on the Scream 2 soundtrack. And the Collective Soul, underrated. Okay. Put it up there. Uh, they suck. Okay. I get it, Dad. I'm not Luke Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. You're goddamn That's right. Cute. You're not no Luke Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Go hang out around your flame barrel with all of your cyborg friends. Oh, my God. You know what? I the will. white rabbit. I may not be the I may be I may not be the Luke Skywalker, but you you're just like Darth Vader. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I always get the I always get the they do this in Star Wars. I'm not 100 percent sure the regular people in Star Wars know anything about any of that. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, you know? I agree. That's yeah. why they call it the uh, what is it? The barge accident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, because they're not going to sit there and go. That time, Luke Skywalker beat the shit out of everybody. It, it just blew up. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Did you guys hear what happened to Java Sail Bar? The damn thing just blew up. Well, I think that's pr- I think that's proven by the the cut scene that we talked about last week, the Tashi Station, where Luke's like watching Star Wars and nobody <laughs> on the planet. If that was happening in real life and the Darth Vader's right there, it's like yeah. people would know, and they're all just right. like, but, uh, what well, even Ray taking bets in the Force Aw- in the Force Awakens. Ray's like. Oh, I thought he was like a myth, right? They yeah. they didn't, you know. So I, I we're going down a different. We're going. I was about to say we're going in a deep dark hole right now. <laughs> a different place we're headed. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Tonight's discussion: Do characters in Star Wars know about Star Wars? Click to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna make that video. That's yeah, we good. are. Yeah, it has to be like a TikTok video. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's the correct talk. example one this guy he doesn't look like he knows star wars is happening look how stupid he looks <laughs> um all right anything else i mean should we get the sad comments oh yes we keep yeah, it tonight a little, yeah. little shorter I wasn't, yeah i wasn't completely disappointed and i really enjoyed a lot of this episode so i'll give it some i'll give yeah. it seven credits and if they to do me- make the toys of that gang i'm getting them all of yeah. them yeah here's the thing the emotional through lines of the mandalorian were so strong the story of uh, Din Darden and, and Grogu is like, there's nothing that's going to happen in Boba Fett that's going to get me to that level. It's just like, yeah, it's just, even right. if, even if Thrawn shows up and Bogotan and like, we start continuing all that, the, the, the Mandalore We start stuff. to really marvel it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The, it, the Boba Fett multiverse, like, God, they're bringing back Jeremy Bullock and uh, Logan. <laughs> oh my God. If Stop Jeremy it. Bullock shows up, um, hey, crazier things have happened. I just watched a goddamn movie with Harold Ramis in it. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't forget. <laughs> um, okay. Well, if you aren't familiar with sad comments, we do it on Toy Anxiety every week, but we're going to do a special edition tonight because the Jacob Walsh, uh, Jake, set us up. What, what's the the you know what's the premise here? <laughs> well, the premise is somebody hates this show. <laughs> Um, I, I got three sad comments here. One of them is very long, which is insane. But the uh, same person hates the show, but is watching it and uh, <laughs> wants you to know what he hates about it. And I just, you know, sad comments on toy anxiety is really fun. It's fun to uh, hear what some of these people have to say and then make fun of it. So okay, <laughs> all right. So we give them a platform. It's great. We got the yeah. music. About to start here. I'm going to start off with... Now, this first comment is the shortest one, and it is from when he was watching the first episode. First episode. Okay, here we go. Jake, I'm going to give you the floor here. Thank you. That's not me. (laughs) That's you. (laughs) 
<laughs> You've made me small. There we go. There you go. There we go. Okay. All right. First. Do you want me to start the music over? No. We're okay. Sure. We're go good. ahead. All right. Here we go. Go. Book of Boba Seven coming in. Five minutes in, and I hate it already. <laughs> what an amazingly unimaginative and lazy waste of story and character writing potential. That's his first comment. That's That's, first he's one. five minutes into the first episode, and he has already called it a lazy waste of story and writing to, potential. What happened in the first five minutes? It was the Bomar Monk... This yep. is the first, the, the, the first episode of the show. Oh, the first episode. Oh, first episode. oh okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Now, I'm going to... This next one is the long one. Okay. Because this is after he finished, I think, the first episode. I think this is the first episode. I had to screen do two screenshots. Ooh, a double screenshot. This okay. is long. Okay, here we go. So stick with this man. He needs it. He needs our help. Here we go. Man, that's some really sweet looking Boba Fett armor. What's that, Fennec? The palace is under attack? Oh, fuck. Excuse me while I take five minutes to get all of my shit off of this goofy goddamn display first. In hindsight, I really don't know what the hell I was thinking and doing this. It adds an entirely unnecessarily step into getting into my shit when I need it. Those Sarlacc juices really got to my head. Seriously hate this sort of fangasmy crap. Is he supposed to be a stupid samurai or something? I don't know about you, but to me, that armor and everything with it is just glorified tools and equipment. When it's not in use, it's cleaned and it's sorted out of the way. Not on display to Oogle or at like a nerdy fan. Django felt much the same in episode two, just tossing that heavy shit on the closet floor when he was done with it. Episode 1 of Book of Boba Fett was overall a big disappointment. It's a real shame, too, that they've seemingly gutted all of Boba's EU exploits and accomplishments and pasted them onto their new character, Jin, like half-asses. Gives me big ST vibes. Helmet staying on, gone. Sarlacc pit, erased. A minor footnote that might as well never happen. Intelligent calculating and ruthless <laughs> nah bro <laughs> don't you know Vader did all the work in yeah. ESB not gonna even go into how jarring it is to watch him go from 6 foot and slim as a rail to suddenly being 5'7 and 30 pounds heavier I like Tim and I appreciate him wanting to bring in some of his heritage into the character but also we kind of need more Boba brought into Boba's character first. And this ain't the same Boba from OT, let alone TM Season 2. Body doubles are fine in The Mandalorian, but why not here? Does Tim seriously need to constantly be in the suit, even at the cost of believability? Consistency of the media? It's supposed to be Boba, not Tim! <laughs> Action figures playing in sand using fan film quality cinematography. That's what we got, instead of something reminiscent of the first few episodes of The Mandalorian. I'll give Book of Boba Fett more time, but I've not that much hope of the Boba we all knew from the O2, the OT, and EU ever returning. Oh, wow. Wow. Beautiful statement on headcanons. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Craig, do you remember when you asked me how you should react if you don't like something? <laughs> <laughs> like that, right? That's not it, right? I don't just know that do, that's the way to do just it. Just do that. Oh. Holy. These wow. people who read Star Wars books all throughout middle school are having a real tough time in life. Yeah. Sorry. I was... Well, we <laughs> what? I, I'm like, I'm yeah, we, we did this. Yeah. yeah, same here. It's my canon now. <laughs> you just made me want to reread Courtship of Princess Leia. That's where my head canon's at. <laughs> That's where that book are. was. Ooh, that was a that was a doozy. Tough. Yeah. Kind of wanted to read it now. Um, Jake, do you have another one? There's one more, a shorter, <laughs> a shorter one from the newest episode. All right, let's do that. Okay. Then we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do that. And we'll get out of here, right? Cool. All right. 
<laughs> For the love of God, <laughs> please send Rodriguez back to the pits of directing budget children's TV commercials where you found him. Remind me, why does good guy Roba Fett wear a heavy fucking jetpack if he's literally never going to use it to get around or anything? Oh, right, it just looks cool. I genuinely challenge anyone to defend this steaming hot garbage as anything other than yet more cheap and manipulative sequel trilogy-esque character assassination, writing designed for the express purpose of raising up Disney's new character, Jin, while simultaneously lessening the original OT character I absolutely despise this kind of shit in creative writing. The goddamn episode description has more effort in it. So it seems like I've heard this. I've heard people say there are rumors and I have no idea how accurate this is, but there are people who say that the original plan, the original story for Mandalorian was going to be Boba Fett. But that Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy were like, no, we we don't want it. We want to have a new character. Uh, so it sounds like this person is bought into that conspiracy theory, whether it's conspiracy theory or not. And they are like, Mandalorian is so good and Din is so good. And we are really mad at Disney for doing that because it should have been for Boba Fett because I love Boba Fett. Yeah, right. that's the sentiment. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what? Well, I hope he keeps watching because I want to get his thoughts every week. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep checking back with this guy. Um, if, <laughs> yeah, I hope he's watching. I hope he's watching this show. I'd love Check to hear on his him. thoughts. Um, yeah, I want to make sure he's doing okay. Yeah, I, I think I think it's tough because like I, I'm actually I I will say this. I'm surprised at how soft of a touch they've gone with with Boba Fett right now. Like I get honorable and I get reasonable and fair but he is he kind of seems like a softy a little bit well coming off of um the season two of mando where he rescues where he's still trying to save grogu on where tython right where he's just laying waste to the stormtroopers left right. and right they mm -hmm. also and then he we get here and it, it is a jarring stop of him just yeah right you know, I think it's coming though. I think we're going to see. Oh, I, 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 yeah, think, I, think I so. agree with you on that. Also, but. like I saw somebody say this in the chat earlier, and and I know they do kind of skip over the Sarlacc stuff really quickly, but you do have to imagine that that's got to mess with. That's got to. He's weird. He's just like a weird dude who was almost eaten by a Sarlacc pit. He, he's kind of. He used to be a bounty hunter. He doesn't like that anymore. People, people change and he's and he's a little different and I, and I do think it is a lot of people want him to be this crazy badass that they have made up in their heads that he is from the original right. well Star and, Wars is all the about simple, but the simple answer, answer is just that he's not what you thought he was it's always yeah. redemption in Star Wars Darth Vader guess what end of Return of the Jedi boom he's a good guy fucking Kylo Ren kills Han Solo by the end of that trilogy, yeah, yeah. you're like, Ben Solo, I love you, man. Well, <laughs> even Han Solo in the first movie. Yeah. Like Han Solo is getting into new hope to the end of a yeah. new hope. There's redemption yeah. there, too. No, the first movie with Han Solo, he's like, I'm a pilot. I'm going to be a pilot. And then, uh, did you guys hear about my big pilot story? Craig, pilot. why are you being such I'm a troll? Pilot. I'm a pilot. <sighs> Hi, I'm Han uh, Solo. I'm a pilot. Right, Can someone hang up, on, <laughs> hang up, Craig? Abby, reach over Hold and on. mute him. Actually, no, Ryan, 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 hold on, hold on one second, one second. <laughs> Hi, I'm a pilot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Corellia, Corellian, Corellia, coaxium, coaxium, Lando. I yeah, I don't, I'm doing, Craig, I don't know yeah. what you're doing, but we're so live. Yeah. yeah. No, it's great. <laughs> no, I'm I'm reciting solo as as I remember it. You should practice this in your car first. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, okay uh, ryan i know you were butting up against time if you have to bail you are excused we're gonna wrap up but if you want to stay obviously you more okay to stay i will now. give my final thought on this i had fun with it and actually now talking through it i kind of like the episode even more 
Okay. Uh, for those of you who are haters, just remember this is your canon now. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, have a safe and wonderful evening. Have fun. Say dude. hello to the person that yeah. you're going with. Have I don't want to give day. out your business, but and and uh, get them fun. on the show, right? That's the yes. we would like that's to have yes. them on the show. So okay, the I will let them know. All right. Um, have a good night, guys. Take care. When Chad. I messaged him oh. on Instagram and asked him to be on the show, he hearted it. <laughs> <laughs> which is a great which is a great way to say i see you i hear you leave me no, alone, no. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right bye ryan bye, okay good night have a good night um so okay let's do some final thoughts we'll just round table it and uh abigail I'll give you the floor first sure thank you um yeah i didn't hate this like with the vitriol that i i feel is coming from these like headcanon fans um I, I never was really like, I mean, yeah, we had high expectations from the Mandalorian, but I don't know how high of expectations I had for this. I will say that it seems very intentional that it's like, you know, you start and then it slows down and I kind of want Boba to go full force. And I'd like to see like real, just total ass kicking and like awesome takeover shit. Like you really want to see Boba doing, um, I'm still holding out hope. I know there's four more episodes, so maybe the, the lid will just be like ripped off and just five so more. Five five, oh, five more. Yeah, there's a there's potential. I, I, there these uh, the biker gang could be. I don't, there's chance. There's a chance they could be pulled out as like stronger, better characters, and like we yeah. could get to know them better. Or the girl's gonna start dating Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> there's <laughs> hey, there's uh, also a chance that must like the much like the Tuscans in the next episode, they'll just be dead. <laughs> that's the funniest thing. They're all dead. That's yeah. it's a fat. That's what it is. It's a Fast and the Furious type thing. Boba Fett's all about family, but they keep killing his family. So he's going to have to go Keep building a new or better family. Yeah. Uh, Troy, go for it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't hate the episode and I feel like I've been unfairly super negative about it. This, this uh, chat, but I, I think it's going to play better when we run everything back to back to back. I think because we're doing this one week at a time and we're going th through these flashbacks and we're getting attached to these characters and then we're ruminating on it throughout the week, like, oh my God, I hope this happens and I want to see this happen. And then when we get to the beginning of this episode, all those people are dead now and you're like, well, I guess that's not happening. Right. I think, I think once we get past that first listen to the album, the album will start to sound a lot better to us. We'll get to know some of the songs and it will all play uh, in, in the order that I, I guess it was intended to be played. So uh, it, it's tough. And I hope that they they have bigger plans for the, the biker gang, or I hope maybe the biker gang just kind of goes away and we move on and we see something else. Like it could be that he's just befriending people right. left and right. Making and, allies. Yeah, exactly. Um, so because people have compared the show to Kung Fu. Um, we like to keep talking about Roadhouse, which is kind of funny because I really want him to sort of be that cooler character. More Dalton. Um, yeah, yeah. Give, give me more Dalton. Let me see I've him rip some throats. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think, I don't know. Let's, let's see where the next episode goes before we really start harshly talking about this, this episode. Yeah. Mm. And I also think like Robert Rodriguez, there is kind of a B movie feel to it. And it there is parts that feel like Xena or Hercules, and I'm not that mad about it. Like, it's just a stylistic choice. Now, I will say this: if Lucasfilm, if if these, if the biker gang is a big part of the next five episodes, what is Lucasfilm feeling like right now? Like, oh no, we did it again. <laughs> oh, they're Alden Aaron right They're us. all pilots. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jake. Yeah. I listen. I I I like. I really like the first two episodes of the show, and I mean, th this. Yeah, sure, this is the weakest episode, but it's just the weakest out of the three that we've seen, and half of it was still pretty cool. So there was a fucking rancor in it. We we saw a, a giant scary Wookie, uh, and and I think we're gonna see more of b both of those things. So I, I'm excited to see where it goes, and I, I'm just hoping that the the weirdness in this episode is just a, a hiccup that we are just over next week right mm -hmm. uh how i agree fully with jake if this is the weakest episode of the se of this season we're in for a good season yeah right yeah mm -hmm. very well said short and sweet mm -hmm. um, in the screen accurate sweater how thank you yes thank you yeah. the um, right color yes how and if you how we love you we we're glad that you're here and we want you back and uh i'm sure everybody in the chat knows how because We've traveled all over the country with Hal, and everywhere we go, he knows at least 10 people. Like, just walking through the streets. Hey, Hal! Yeah. Hey, Hal! Everybody knows Hal's name. Everybody knows Hal's name. He's the best. Um, 
I'll I'll get the fu- 12 systems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at this hunk of junk. Hunk of junk. Watch your mouth, boy. This thing did something or another in a very fast amount of time. I know Star Wars quotes. Uh, I thought it was fine. It's like a 6 out of 10. Like, it's fine. Good sure. stuff. Not great stuff. It's still Star Wars. It's still coming on Disney Plus every week. We got and- a rank or. We, it was just announced today that Tim Allen for. is coming back for the Santa Claus on Disney Plus. So, uh, you know, good for Disney Plus. Give us more. I, I doubt there's going to be an episode of the Santa Claus that is better than episode three of Book of Boba Fett. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but that scale, there you go. everything's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's my scale. Like that, was um, not, that was nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, we appreciate everybody hanging out with the chat. It's a lot of fun. We know it's late on a Friday night. You guys could be doing out going out you know what you said you could be doing out going you could out. be doing out, out going out <laughs> like everybody's mom for a second hey, I, I want to point out that somewhere in the middle of this episode um a lot of my toys fell and it's scared the shit out of me and i don't know if anybody noticed <laughs> me doing like this oh, trying to find I thought, out i heard what... it i thought it was something at our house okay no i noticed that my beetlejuice toys over here are all like oh, up shit. against the glass and it's wow. kind of one of those situations where when i open the door they're just hitting the floor damn oh, shit scared me, me but get lydia on the case i'm okay <laughs> um, i, I want to let everyone know that i had a cat next to me for most of this stream and uh She's great. She's, She's great. Team, She's yeah. great. She imprinted on you. Mm-hmm. She did. Uh, oh, you should try to ride her. Oh, okay. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> um, ride her. <laughs> By the way, blind. the number. If you're watching this, uh, the number one way that you can help us is by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Puts us in front of more people. And if you like why you chess, if you like yes, have some. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the content we've got. Fun interviews coming up for YHS in the next couple weeks. We've got plenty of toy anxiety, Star Wars content. I'm opening cards like a madman in the YHS cardio. I'm so proud of that name. It's so stupid, and I just love it. Uh, The YHS cardio playlist. So something for everybody here at Yes Have Some. And uh, Troy, why don't you go ahead and tell people about uh, where they can find the latest offerings from one Troy Benjamin author extraordinaire uh, at the, uh, on all of the socials at Troy still plays still playing with toys.net. Um, also, I'm going to be that guy. If you have the time or the means go to Colorado responds.org uh, help out the people that had their homes burned down a couple weeks ago. Very sad stuff, but um, yeah. That's Thank where I'm at. Yeah, That's thanks, good. Uh, maybe we could talk off there and figure out a way we can like raise some money for that or something. Do like a raffle or an auction or something. I don't know. I don't know. I've, you know what? I have an idea. We Just can workshop it, it off air. Plan. We can do it off air, but I have an <laughs> idea. Unless you really like doing that. Uh, I like people to know that I have ideas. I'm an ideas man. Okay. I'm basically full of them okay uh i'm full of shit uh troy and uh wakanda files uh agents of shield all the books you've done i I know that's they're not called agents of shield the book but they're called something along those lines it would have been a better title i I have (laughs) crazy long titles on my books yeah uh search troy benjamin on amazon or wherever you get your books and you will find incredible work from him uh how what are you working on these days any uh besides building our eagle moss ectos for me and jake because we are prima donna <laughs> nothing um check me out on potty d walk channel on youtube i yeah. haven't posted anything in a while but I hopefully i'll get some videos up going soon cool cool very cool right. the look on troy's face when i just said that I how's know the exactly fun is way. building it what are you talking about yeah, hey <laughs> i built three so far <laughs> Prima donna. So well, I, it's, it's you know it's we are where we are. Have to, all right, touch it. Uh, and then uh, you can find all of our content <laughs> on iTunes, <laughs> Spotify, YouTube. You know where to find. Yes, have some at YHS podcast on the social mm-hmm. media channels. My name is Craig Goldberg. We're going to go ahead. Can we give a shout out to H.A. Quick's comment really quick? What did he, he say? He said, I play YHS cardio back at high speed. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's how you can enjoy a an new Excellent new workout. New he should start a Ghostbusters website with those kind of sick references. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right, everybody. We're going to call it now. That was another fan. episode of the Boba Book Club. We'll see you next week. 
Jake, I'm waiting for those lyrics, by the way. It's biker gang is it's, back. Uh, it's, it's common news. Boba, 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 fat, fat, fat. It's not going to be like that, Adam. <laughs> oh, you don't those, so? those are the lyrics those to the my chase lyrics. song. <laughs> Fire boba. We're we'll in a chase. We're moving slowly now. Chase, 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 chase,